lot to celebrate this year. Um, we've done a lot of good things, and we've uh, been able to have the most successful year in Lion Athletics history. And, and this fall, we will embark on the 100th season of Lion Athletics. So we have a rich tradition and a rich history uh, of athletics here at, at Texas a and University Commerce, formerly East Texas State. And um, it, it has been a fun year. And um, we've been able to win six championships. Uh, I'm going to kind of hit, hit the highlights real quick. We've won six Lone Star Conference championships, which is the most ever uh, in a single year for Lion Athletics. We've had 67 all Lone, Con Lone Star Conference student athletes. Uh, we've had 13 Lone Star Conference all academic team players, two uh, Lone Star Conference academic player of the years. Uh, we've had 43 all region student athletes. We've had seven Lone Star Conference players of the year, so athletic players of the year in, in, in their respective sports. And we have 20, we've had 25 All-Americans this year. So uh, again, a lot to be proud of, uh, a lot of great things going on. In addition uh, to our on-the-field success, uh, we've had some great success in the classroom. Our, our uh, overall GPA this year for, for, our athletic, for our athletes was almost a 3.0. We were just at a 2.8 this year for our entire department. So you're talking about 350 student athletes uh, achieving an average of almost a 3.0. Uh, we also we also achieved 2,500 hours of community service, and that's something that we talk about a lot uh, w within our athletics department. Uh, I talk to our student athletes about it and our coaches. But we talk about we want to be champions in everything that we do. We want to be champions on the on the competition service. We want to be champions in the classroom. We want to be champions in life. And when we talk about that and, and being a part of what we do and creating the culture of excellence that uh, that, that, that that we have that we've been able to achieve. The success that we have is really because of that, and uh, we've got some. Great but uh, we did have a good year. Had a, had a, as he talked about establishing a culture, and, and just the winning culture. It's, it's great to be back here, and, what, and, and the direction that he's taking this thing, and, and with all the success you've seen this year with the championships, the six championships, it's just a great place to be right now as far as the winning culture. And, and you know, we talk about footballs here, and tracks here, and, and men's basketball. They've all had phenomenal years, they ended in, and getting hardware, getting rings, and so uh, that's where we're trying to take our, our program right now. Um, 14 wins this year, and have a, have a lot of good pieces, a lot of key pieces coming back. So I'm uh, very excited about some of our players. Our, our quitter freshman this year, they got freshman of the year in the conference. I uh, led the conference in assist. Got a uh, national recognition as far as an all-American freshman team. And so um, excited about the pieces coming in. Great recruiting class. One of my assistant coaches here, Coach Taylor, who did a great job as far as this, this working the phones, getting on the road, and getting players. And so couldn't be more excited to be back. Um, but as far as championships and things like that, I not there yet. These coaches are here, and, and, and I let I let these coaches get up and talk about that. But I appreciate Ryan um, hiring me and giving me the opportunity to be here this year, and, and uh, look forward to the success in the future. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. Coach Burton's kind of downplaying himself, but he has been a phenomenal influence in the lives of our, our women, women's basketball student athletes. And, uh, uh, next up, we're going to have the only coach of the year this year. Uh, you can sit down. Uh, coach Tom Dibbert, who is our head track and field coach. Uh, coach Dibbert has been named, was named twice the coach of the year, uh, our men's team, men's uh, track team won both the indoor and outdoor conference championship this year. Finished 12th in the nation uh, from an indoor standpoint and 8th in the country from an outdoor standpoint. So, Coach Dibbert, if you'll come on up. Wow. About this year, we, we, had a, we had a fun year this year. Uh, we had some success, uh, a lot more success than we anticipated, um, you know, kind of started with indoors where we, uh, we had eight All-Americans on the men's side and finished 12th and uh, we were lucky to win the indoor conference championship. Um, our women had a solid year and uh, kind of catapulted us into the, the outdoor season where, uh, where the men all year long we were ranked in the top 25. So after the first week we were in the top 10 all, all year long. 
and we ended up scoring the most points for the, the men and the women's team at the conference meet that we ever had in school history. Um, and we're fortunate enough to win it. Um, we did it in San Angelo, that's where I came from, so it was kind of special to do it there, kind of fun. Uh, go back to San Angelo and, and do it on their, their uh, track there. But uh, men and women both had a great meet there. Um, the men finished the year ranked number one in the country. And to me, that's significant because the, the rankings of track are based on actual marks throughout the year. So I think our men had the best regular season of anybody in the country. We didn't win at nationals, but we were able to bring home 13 more All-Americans on the men's side and finish in the top 10, so you know, we were really proud of how it ended. Uh, uh, next up, we're going to have Coach Sam Walker, our head men's basketball coach, who is probably the longest tenured uh, coach that we have. Uh, many of you know Coach Walker uh, and his stories. Um, some are good, some are bad, some are... You never know what you're going to get. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You kind of like a watch him a color, right? So, like right. well, it's going to be at a uh, an alumni event here. We go back. I'm probably one of very few people at the university in any capacity that came to work there when it was East Texas State University. And I worked at East Texas State for five years before it came in and commerce in '96. Uh, so through that through that time, I've, I've seen quite a bit of change. As a lot of you have coming back to campus during that time, we have uh, we won the regular season conference championship, the conference tournament championship, or regional championship six times. and uh, But we hadn't since uh, 05. Uh, so it was our first time in 10 years to cut nets down. And we, we had four times that we finished second place during that stretch. And I was kind of getting the feeling of being a bridesmaid, not being a bride. So it was a, it was a very fulfilling year for a group of seniors to uh, win the Lone Star Conference tournament championship uh, this past season. but. Um, we were at Texarkana last night. Uh, we're going to make sure that our alumnus and the people that came before us, whether they were involved in athletics or not, uh, know what we're doing and know what we're about and know what kind of product that we're going to put on the fields and on the courts. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, with athletics, and, and uh, it was fun to, to get things started off right uh, with football and, and women's soccer. Women's soccer was actually named the program of the year. They won the Lone Star Conference Championship and the Lone Star Conference Tournament, and then went on to the uh, Sweet 16. And uh, Coach uh, Neil Piper in here, so I'm going to plug soccer. You don't find many coaches that coach football, plug football. But I'm giving him a, a plug today. But he got things started, and, and, and we did as well. Uh, with football, we've got one of our uh, players here, uh, Trayvon Johnson, who's our starting all-conference corner uh, from right here in Tyler. John Tyler High School. He'll be a junior next year on the fall. Just finished up with a 3.1 GPA this spring. So he was one of the football players that did bring the GPA. He didn't have a 3.1 his first semester then, but he's matured and, and, and a lot of the things that we've done uh, with the athletic department on the administrative side has really, really helped. And, and if you haven't noticed that or, or read about that, we've got uh, the James Thrower Academic Center. It's the only academic center for student athletes in the country at Division II. And it's a room about twice the size of this, 40 something computers and tutors on hand, and it's all there just for our student athletes. And that's the reason we're having, like Coach Walker kind of talked about, and that's, that's from people like James Thor and other people that have supported our program and, and helped those things because it's a, it's a well-rounded athletic department now. But uh, just got things done and, and handled business, and, and we ended up going nine and three. Uh, we made uh, Sports Center several times. We scored a lot of points. Uh, scored 98 one game, 91 the other, and we really weren't trying to run it up. We probably could have scored close to 200 on those games if we wanted to. But uh, we were very, very, very talented, especially on the offensive side of the football. Uh, we had seven guys go on here this last uh, month and play professionally in the National Football League. And, and all but one of those guys, I think, was uh, an offensive player. So uh, we led the nation in offense, scored 54 points a game, broke an 83-year old record in the Lone Star Conference. There's never been an offense more efficient than the, than the line offense this past year, led the nation in total offense, passing, and everything else. Did not go to the playoffs, won the Lone Star Conference championship, first time since 1990, but uh, we're not selected to uh, go to the playoffs, so we played in a bowl game. There's two sides now. we got the greatest turf in the, in the world. We've got our, our logo. 
I'm not wearing a lion shirt, but the, the lion logo, it stretches from sideline to sideline and 25 to 25. It's the biggest logo in the world, okay? Go big or go home in Commerce, Texas. And uh, so we've got that, the new academic center. Coach Walker's got a new floor. He cried and cried and cried when they pulled out the, the hardwood maple that had been there since 1858. <laughs> it had been there a while. So he's got him a new, new facility, and there's a lot of changes on the horizon, and that's because of, you know, People like you on, we appreciate your support. You know what? Uh, it doesn't matter if you give fifty thousand or fifty dollars. You know, towards the university, whether it be at academics, athletics, your support helps young people like TJ have a future. Helps us as coaches be able to go out and recruit the kind of student athletes we need to win championships. And so, uh, from all of us uh, with the athletic department, thank you all for being here and thank you for your support. And uh, go Lions! Thank you. We have been able, from a facility standpoint, Coach Carpo talked about it just briefly, but uh, in the last two years, we've done about $3 million worth of athletic facility improvements. Uh, we, we opened up the James Thoreau Athletics Academic Center, which, as Coach Carpo talked about, is a, a, a fantastic facility for our student athletes to, to really come and learn and be able to, 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 to achieve their education. Uh, we opened up a brand new uh, softball complex. Uh, that, that was is just fantastic. If you haven't seen our, our softball complex, it is really really a great facility for us. In fact, it's it's, it's an all turf facility. Uh, I think we've hosted 57 games this year because of the rain and the weather. Obviously, with turf, you don't have to worry about it. And so we've hosted so many just regional games and, and high school games and regional junior college tournament games from that standpoint. So it's been a, a, a great blessing for us to have that many people come to our campus. Uh, we put in a new basketball court. Uh, we're, we're in the process of renovating our weight room facility right now. Uh, that's a $250,000 project. So we're, we, we're investing in, 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 in our student athletes and in the infrastructure that it takes to have a successful athletics department. But we certainly couldn't do it without all of you guys. And, 